When Porsche released the 718 Cayman with a turbocharged engine, well, a lot of people weren't happy. They said you took this great big hunking sound machine out of the middle and replaced it with a little four cylinder thing, which is unemotional. It was uncharacteristic. It didn't sound good. Other people like myself thought, oh, you turned a quite perhaps a Sunday sports car into what could be used every day. Now, my name's Jack, and this is Life in Motion. And if you're new to the channel, you won't know that I previously owned a 718 Cayman, but it was a base car with no sports exhaust. And I did a video a little while ago saying, does the base car sound good? Yes or no? And a huge amount of you responded. Some said, yeah, it does sound good. It's a nice throaty little engine. Some of you said, no. Porsche's taken what was a brilliant combination of sound and handling and speed and have just taken that soul out of it. Well, I want to ask that question one more time. The only difference is that this is a Porsche 718 Cayman GTS. Now what that means is this car's got a two and a half liter engine and it's got a sports exhaust. So in the video, I'm gonna start it up in the different modes, give it a rev, see what you think it sounds like there and then we're gonna crack onto the road and see what it's like on the move. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to see plenty of future videos to come. But for now, let's jump in and let's start it up. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Welcome inside the Cayman and we're now ready to rock and roll. I've got two cameras set up, one for you guys to see what I'm doing and just hear me. The one behind me, which is near the engine. In this car, the engine's mounted in the middle. So that one hopefully is gonna pick up some engine noise. On the outside, I've also got a camera next to the exhaust. So hopefully we can capture all of the sound as we go. So first things first is I'm just going to actually, let me just start up again from what you can hear inside. So I'm gonna put in normal mode I'm going to put the sports exhaust on in normal, which is not standard, so I'll press the button. Yeah. Oh, sounds good, but put it into sport and the valves will open. Valves have just opened, a little blip of the throttle. Now, let's see what happens. Oh, just some pops. Right, to start with, I'm gonna just drive slowly around this industrial estate. I'm gonna put it into manual. Let's just hear what it sounds like when I drive slowly. Hopefully you're gonna hear some crackles and pops from the camera at the back. Let's, let's see. Oh yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now the. Oh, this sounds good. Now it's time to have a little look at what it sounds like a little bit faster. Get okay? through the gears. I'm gonna start in normal and I'm gonna help with no exhaust. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna kick it down to manual, into second, let's see. Change. Again. What? It sounds so good. It's getting little bloop, little blips when I change gear. Oh. Oh, let's get to seven. Oh, blimmin' heck. Let's change down. And again. So this car raced to just over 7,000 RPM. That was seven there. Oh God, brakes are good. And again, oh yeah, 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 it sounds so good. So one thing to tell you, this car's got a two and a half litre four cylinder engine with 365 horsepower. It's also got a sports exhaust. The little valve in the exhaust, it just opens up when you press this button or if you're in sport mode. Now I spend most of my time with normal mode but sports exhaust on but when i want to have a little bit more of a hoon or more crackles and pops i'll pop it into sport right so we are going to enter a town so i'm going to do a bit of round town driving just so you can hear what it is like uh, when we just go a bit slower so i am going to do this in the best popular way to see if this sounds good into sport mode that automatically puts the sports exhaust on and i'm going to put it in manual just to try and be a bit yobbish but let's just change down that teetering point when it's going from like high rev and starts to slow down just some little crackles and pops it's definitely not anything like an a35 or an rs3 you know it's just sometimes constant banging and pops which i really like but sometimes it's a little bit more refined this car you don't want it to be banging and popping all the time so that's pretty good right let's just let's just change down i've got into first and off Yeah, when it sounds like, when it's just sitting there at three, 4,000 revs, it doesn't sound great. Like it does sound a bit, uh, I don't know, it's just not very tuneful. Um, which I get. I know a lot of people say, you know, that the, the two litre, the turbocharged, the two and a half litres just don't sound as tuneful, but it, I think it sounds all right. But right, here we go. Sports mode, manual, Change down, let's go. Sounding pretty good so far. Oh, such a good handling car too. Down again, one more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, geez, just, oh, yes. Right, 
right, and again, ready, let's go. And again. Oh. Baby. Oh. Right. What I'm going to do now is go in normal mode with the sports exhaust off. I'm going to accelerate and then turn it on while I'm accelerating. See what the difference is. Ready? Change down a couple of gears and go. Oh, did you hear? It's that, it's massive difference. Let me do it again. Change again. Yeah, huge, huge difference. Oh God, down, down. Oh, so good, this car. Change down in normal, change down in normal, and then as I accelerate. Oh, now I must admit, sports does in sports mode it sounds better, but it, and it sounds more, more crackles and more pops, a little bit livelier. But in normal mode with the sports exhaust, that's how I spend most of my days. It sounds brilliant. Ready? Oh yes, yes, yes. Change down. Yeah, lovely. And again. Oh, big old bang. <laughs> so, what do we think? I'm hoping by now you've already commented below and said yes or no. It does sound great or mm, there's still something missing. It just doesn't sound as good. Well, make sure you definitely comment below. I really want to hear from you guys. But last one I did, loads of people commented, said it was great like it was just a really interactive video and i want this one to be exactly the same so make sure to comment below make sure to like the video as well so other people can find it and then comment and see what they think if you're buying a car feel free to reach out my instagram is on the screen as well so make sure to reach out to ask me questions anything you like i'm happy to answer anything but yeah we've heard what it's like when you start up and some revs we've heard what it's like around town We've heard what it's like in probably more of a speedy situation. So going through the gears, getting the revs up nice and high. We've gone through normal mode with and without the sports exhaust on and off. And we've also done it in sports mode as well. Now I purposely haven't used Sport Plus. So some of you may be thinking, well, why has he not used it? I haven't used it because it doesn't sound as loud. Porsche, when I bought the car, they've been very renowned for saying actually Sports Plus is optimum for driving fast but it isn't as loud as sports mode, so I've kept it with normal and sports mode. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to plenty of future videos to come, but for now, I'll see you soon.